I have an announcement to make, and it's not an announcement that I ever wanted to make at any point. Um, I knew it was probably an announcement that I would eventually make when, uh, when I realized that enough is enough. I really don't know how to put my thoughts into words right now, but I'm just going to try to keep it simple and tell you guys that this is a formal goodbye video for In Jaws We Trust. And as hard as that is to say, um, I gotta say it because it's been a wonderful journey these last two years. You guys are amazing, amazing subscribers. I was surprised at how many views each of my videos got because like normally when I see channels I see maybe like 10 or 20 percent of their subscribers watching their videos but for me anywhere from 30 to 50 percent of my subscriber count watched each of my videos at least and I'm just so glad that for these last two years I was able to make videos for you guys that you guys enjoy to watch and I enjoyed making them too. <clears throat> That's why I did this whole thing. Even more so than the competitive eating, I liked putting up videos that entertained people and gave people a reason to watch work that I did because I get satisfaction out of that. Just when it was getting real, when I was starting to get progress, um, I decided to throw in the towel because the content that I was putting out isn't sustainable for me, personally. Um, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I say competitive eating is not the most healthy, long-term practice to be involved in. I think anyone can reach a consensus with that. Um, right when I started doing all this, I knew I was gonna end it eventually. I didn't know when, I didn't know how successful it would get, I didn't know what I'd get out of it, but I just wanted to try and I just wanted to see if I could do it. And I surprised myself. Um, I did put in, put in the effort and I did reach some milestones that I never thought I'd be capable of reaching. Like that seven and a half, three quarter pound of Thanksgiving dinner challenge, I would never thought I'd eat that much food. That's the most food I've eaten at this point. And I don't know, when I finished that, I was just mesmerized, you know, I was just driven. And also that huge six pound burger and the one pound of fries, the beast burger challenge, that's another one that I'll never forget. And these are huge milestones that I never thought I'd reach with the sport and I'm so glad I was able to. And I've just had so much fun with it, you know, I feel like this is a good time. I feel like I've, I've, I don't even know, like this, this right now, right now, I feel satisfied. You know, I think that I have done enough. I've kind of wet my feet with this whole competitive eating thing and I had fun with it, you know? I had a great time with it while it lasted and I feel like it's a good time to just kind of let it go. And before I get too into it because this is a sport, if you get too into it, you're gonna, you're gonna have consequences down the road. I'm just tired of that, that feeling of being just overly full and just being miserable for so long after a challenge. I've, I've experienced it many times and I feel like I've experienced it enough times. I don't wanna experience it anymore. <laughs> and it's something that's very difficult if you guys ever wanna try it or have tried it and know. Uh, it's something that you really, really have to want and I realize that I don't want it that much. Uh, I want it just as a temporary hobby, which it was. Just wanted to see what it was like, have fun with it. And now I can, I can rest, I can relax and say I've done that and that was fun while it lasted. But I'm not gonna do that anymore. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I sound nasally, guys. I am a little bit sick right now. I'm feeling under the weather and my nose is kind of stuffy, but I just felt like it was a good time to make this video because I'm just so, I'm happy right now, guys. I mean, 
I haven't done a challenge in almost a month now. Uh, I think the last challenge that I did was the Hardee's challenge. It may have been, no, it was less than a month. It was probably like three weeks ago. Haven't done a challenge in three weeks and haven't done any training. Haven't even tried, haven't thought about it. And I forgot how this was, guys. I forgot how it was to live, just kind of live relaxed and just empty. You know, my, my whole digestive system is just thanking me, you know, I, it's, I'm resting, I'm just finally resting, and I'm at peace now. <laughs> I'm talking as if I'm like dying or something, but I just wanted you guys to know where I'm coming from with this. And I hope you guys accept my decision to stop doing this and help me move on to the next journey in my life, because I really love making YouTube videos. I don't think I'll stop making YouTube videos. It's just something that, it just, you know, it just makes your day. When you put together a nice video and you get that nice footage and you do the color correcting and the editing and the effects and everything just comes together nicely, it's like you created a work of art. And really, that's the main thing I love. I love cameras. I love just everything about film and photography and that kind of stuff. And... I want to relay that side of me to you guys, but I want to let you guys know that this competitive eating thing is not my priority in life. And hoping that you guys understand my decision, I want to lay it on you that I will probably be either converting this channel to a different channel uh, by changing the name, changing the theme, like everything about it. I'll still keep my channel the same, who knows? I mean, this, the possibilities are infinite. I could come back next week. I don't know. Maybe I, wanted, maybe I just randomly say, hey, I feel like doing a food challenge today. And maybe I, I might suck at it, and maybe I might not eat much, but you know, I might just make it just for making the video and put enough videos that maybe you guys want to see. But I'm saying for the most part, I think I'm pretty much done with uh, competitive eating as a whole. Don't expect any crazy 10-pound freaking burgers for me, I'm, I'm done with that. But yeah, I will be converting this channel or starting a new channel. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I really don't even know what to name it. I was thinking of naming it Feasting Like a King or Eat Like a King, something like that, something along those lines. And uh, yeah, just, just uh, focusing my channel more on the health health aspects of life instead of the unhealth, you know, just kind of taking a complete 180 with this whole thing and going back towards my roots because I originally came from a place of trying to be healthy to competitive eating. I don't know, maybe I was just trying to rebel against myself, I don't know, but I feel like it's time to go back and to do it right this time. I know a lot of stuff that I have not told you guys and I really want to talk about just to get it off my chest, just to clear up things, just to make sense out of everything, you know? Make sense out of all the questions people have, all of the confusion in the world nowadays as far as like just health and wellness, you know, like just what you should do, how to be healthy, how to be fit. I mean, yeah, there are the superficial ways of just, I mean, exercise and burn off the calories, but that's, that's only superficial health, you know? Like true health, it's internal. So I want to share all of my knowledge on that with you guys, and I think I'm going to do it on a separate channel from here on out. So if you want to follow me in that journey please feel free, drop that channel a subscription, I will not disappoint you, I'll be putting out good quality videos. Now that I've been getting my feet wet with the whole video editing software, and just like color correction, and just how to optimize my settings and my camera, I'm gonna be making good quality stuff from here on out. I hope you follow me, you don't have to, I completely understand if you were just in it for the competitive eating, because for the longest time I was too. And if you guys ever come around, check out my new channel. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. I have to tell you that I'm leaving in a good place. 
I'm happy, satisfied with myself, happy with life. Um, never felt better. Three weeks without a challenge, no bloat, feeling awesome. <laughs> Tons of energy, except the fact that I'm sick, a little sick right now. But other than the stuff he knows, uh, I'm feeling great. I want to say formally, as in Jaws We Trust for the last time, uh, goodbye guys. It's been it's been fun and it's gonna be hard to let go, but you know you gotta move on and gotta find something new, you know, something new and fun to play with that's uh, a little more sustainable for me. So on that note, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you're still watching at this point, I don't know how long the video will be, but it's, it feels like I've been talking forever. So with that, I will leave you guys for the last time on this channel. It's been in Jobs We Trust, and I'm signing out. See you guys.